Hey everybody, what's up? We're uh, here to go through week number two of my offseason. Uh, started off with a horribly painful bang at the five sets of ten deadlifts on Monday. Uh, I believe this is 220 kilos, 484 pounds. I uh, decided to do these touch and go um, purposefully because I wanted to do them more like an RDL. Uh, really trying to build up my, my hamstrings. My leg biceps, as Konstantin Konstantinov's told me, he said, Chad, you pull 400 kilo, but you will need more leg bicep. So if, if KK says I need more leg biceps, then I need more leg biceps. So there we go. It was 5, five by 10 there, then some front squats and some back raises. On to the bench press on Wednesday. Um, we got 455. Uh, had some trouble hitting the... Uh, the safety rails there a couple times on my right side. I hope to do this for five reps, but I uh, just did it for four. Still feel pretty happy with that at this point in the off season. Uh, you know, if you followed my training, I'm I'm not a great uh, gym lifter in any of the lifts, but particularly not in the bench press. With my best gym bench being 525 compared to 567 in the meet, um, and here's 375 for I think 10 reps. It it may have only been nine reps. Uh, you know, counting, just a, just a meathead, I can't be expected to count all the way up to 10. But, uh, <clears throat> also, not, not a great rep bencher, but, you know, trying to address that this offseason. So you can see up to a heavy set of 5, 75% for a back down set of 10, and then a little bit of auxiliary work. Uh, I'll tell you, come Friday, my back was still pretty smoked from, uh, from those 5 sets of 10 deadlifts on Monday. And I didn't really get any break here doing eight sets of five high bar squats with uh, 225 kilos, about 495 pounds. Um, and believe it or not, this is about as, as deep as I could go here. Um, you know, just kind of getting to the point now where everything's running into itself. Uh, hamstrings and calves just colliding. High bar, you know, is challenging. It's, it's, it's making my quads work really hard. It's making me work on my posture throughout the squat, um, having a hard time kind of keeping the bar up high because I don't like to put it all the way on my neck, but, uh, you know, it's no center knurling on this bar. It was tending to roll on me a little bit and end up a bit lower bar position than I'd like, but ended up legit probably just rolling around on the floor for about 15 minutes trying to get my back and quad pump to go away after that eight sets of five at 495 with one minute rest between the sets. And uh, those short rest periods are a great way to build special work capacity, great way to challenge yourself, improve your fitness, you know, your specific fitness. And that's, you know, part of the goal of the off-season is to uh, apply the idea of phase potentiation and better prepare myself uh, for my meat peaking cycle. Uh, you know, the better shape I get in now, the you know, better specific condition I get in, the more high-quality work I'm going to be able to do as I prepare for the meat. Then uh, some sumo deadlifts there. Like I said, legs and back were shot, so not as good uh, leg drive and not as good a starting position as I hopefully will have later, but is what it is. There again, sorry, no Saturday footage, just a bunch of benching, nothing too exciting. Make sure you guys use JTS at Virus International for 10% off.